Bright yard lights can enhance many features in your yard and even provide some added security. The most difficult aspect of this for me was to lay the lines under my sidewalk. So in this video, I will show you how to install low voltage landscape lighting under your sidewalk. Although I found following the instructions that came with this process to be very easy, if you are not confident, I recommend having it installed by a professional electrician. The only tools you really need to get under your sidewalk are a shovel, a drill, and a flexible drill bit. Most of you have come to this video to see the easiest way to get your wire under a sidewalk, so let's get right to that first. We will talk about the lights and transformers later in this video. First lay out all your wires and make sure they reach the area where your transformer will be installed. Now we know which part of the sidewalk they will have to go under. You only really need one line since this is low voltage. You can tap into that line for the other lights but make sure you know how many lights your transformer will support. This process is really kind of simple. First, make sure your drill bit extends the distance of the sidewalk. Now you need to cut a plug with the shovel that will allow the entire drill to fit in it if it's needed to. We do not want to destroy any grass, so cut your plugs in straight lines to ensure they don't fall apart. Once you have a good solid sod plug out, you can do normal digging to ensure you are below the concrete of the sidewalk. Now go to the other side of the sidewalk and this plug does not need to be as big. It only needs to be big enough to help you spot the head of the drill bit when it comes through. In my case, I am digging in mulch and dirt so I don't need to worry about my grass. Attach your flexible drill bit to the drill. Your drill does not have to be cordless. You can run an extension cord out and use a power drill. Once the bit starts to penetrate, you can place a slight bend into the drill bit to cause it to stay straight or slightly work its way up while rotating. If you miss the exit hole the first time, that's okay. Just keep trying until you make it straight across to the other dugout area. Now, leave the drill bit in place, but remove the drill from the end of it. Grab some duct tape and take the end of your wire that will connect to the transformer and tape it to the end of your drill bit. Do this by overlapping the wire and the bit by about three to four inches. Then starting at the wire end, wrap in a spiral direction from the wire to the bit. Take note of the direction you are wrapping the tape. This will allow you to spin the drill bit if while pulling it through, you catch or snag on something. Now, stepping back over to the other side, Pull the drill bit all the way through until the wire is safely out on the other side. Then you can unwrap your tape and voila, you have successfully laid wire under your sidewalk. And now we can move on to installing the lights. You don't need to destroy your yard at this point. Here is a quick trick to lay the wire across your yard directly to where the lights will be installed without messing up your grass. Take your shovel and split the ground. You need to penetrate the ground by a minimum of four inches. This will keep the wire safe if you ever intend to aerate your yard before reseeding. We are going to split the ground and then place the wire down into the split and simply step the split back together to hide the wires. Continue with this process in each direction from where you laid your wire under the sidewalk to each of your ending points where your lights will be. In my case, I will have a light on each tree in front of my house, so one on the right and one on the left. Use your hands to insert the wire into your split to make sure you get the depth of four inches. Once all your wire is laid, you can replace your initial plug and move on to installing your transformer. With a good low voltage transformer, you can ensure your yard stays lit at any time you want. I am only going to have three lights, one on the house and the other two on the trees. So the transformer I used only needed to be 60 watts. If you plan on more lights, you will need to get a stronger transformer. I have provided a list of links in the description of this video to show you the ones that I considered. Okay, instead of doing this outside where it's hard to see, I will show you a quick layout of what I am doing, then show you in detail on the workbench. I plan on installing the transformer here. The first part of this video showed me running my first wire from the transformer under the sidewalk to my first light. 
The next portion of this video will allow me to tie into my already laid line and run a second line to the other side of the yard. This is where I will install my second light. Then I will go back and install the last light near the house. What you will need for this portion of the installation is waterproof connectors. What makes these waterproof is that they are filled with silicon. You will need at least three for the tie-in. Again, I have placed a link in the description to show you what worked for me. The line that ran from the transformer to the first light was continuous. We will cut that line in half just past the sidewalk and expose the wires. Then join in our second line for the second light. Once your second line is laid and you have proper distance for it, you can splice the end and expose the wires. Then tie all three lines together and cap off with the silicon waterproof caps. I am demonstrating what this should look like on the workbench. Once you place the caps on, the silicon sticks to the ends of the wire to protect it and then it dries. So I am only going to demonstrate putting them on. I also took an extra step and covered them with electrical tape. At this point, your lights are ready to be installed. Based on the type of spotlights you purchased, the connectors could be different, but for Kitchler brands, they're pretty simple. To tie in the lights, simply slide the bracket that came with the lights over the wire from the light. Then slide the end of the wire you laid through the same bracket to overlap the two wires. Then place the alignment cap to hold the wires in place. Last, slide the alignment cap onto the main bracket and with the screw cap, tighten down until the teeth penetrate the rubber and make contact with the bare wire. This can be accomplished by simply tightening the cap all the way down. Attach your terminal wire to your transformer and check you have power to your lights. At this point, you're all done, but this would not be a true John's DIY if I didn't have a chance to cut some wood. So I made up an excuse and made this up as I went along. I decided to build a small birdhouse to protect the transformer. So let's get cutting. I took an old deck board and I cut both ends at 45 degrees. Then I placed the transformer on the board below the 45 degree angles and placed a mark about where the holes were on the back of the box. Then I took the mounting template that came with the transformer and stuck it to the board where I had placed my mark to help with aligning my screws. Once the screws were in, I then checked to see if my box was snug. I grabbed an old piece of cedar from redoing my fence and I cut it in half. This would be my roof. I set my table saw at a 45 degree angle when cutting the board in half so I would have matching ends. With an 18 gauge brad nailer, I tacked on the first side of the roof. Then I repeated this step to the other side. Once the roof was on, I placed my transformer into position and marked the bottom of the box. Just below the mark I made, I took a spade bit and drilled a hole wide enough to allow the transformer's plug and laid wire to be fed through the hole. Now I could reinstall the transformer on the board and feed the cord through the hole. Now dig a hole, put your transformer in position and plug it in and then anxiously await nightfall to see your work. Ha ha, I wish I lived here. I'm a do-it-yourselfer, not a doctor. Get real. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.